This video is sponsored by Imagine. Hello friends. Among the top requests I receive from viewers is to make videos on photo editing. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that one, I don't extensively edit my photos. I generally try to keep things realistic looking. And two, I don't love the editing process, but I'm far too possessive of my work to have someone else do it. Don't get me wrong, I do love the moment I get to that finished product, the, you know, the edited image, my art, when my vision comes to fruition, but the in-between when I'm here sitting at my computer is just not my favorite. I have come to a workflow supported by software and tools that help me stay efficient. That way I can spend more time with my camera in my hand and less time at my computer. <laughs> and today I will share a piece of software that blew my mind when I learned about it. It fits in precisely with my philosophy on editing, be that for better or for worse, you know, that I want to have control over the editing, but I don't really love editing. <laughs> I know I'm type A. I did pull some self-portrait shoots that we've done in the past 10 or so years. And I also dusted off some of my own modeling skills. Plus I pulled Raymond in for some new portraits. We'll do some editing of all of those photos in this video with a piece of software that is so smart that it has the term AI in the title. Imagine AI. You probably noticed at the beginning of this video that I said that this project is sponsored by Imagine. I only partner with companies and show you products that I like, and I always like to explain how I choose partners. So here's a quick story about how Imagine and I came together. I have turned down offers for software from other companies that have some amount of AI, like for example, where the software can change the sky. Those can be cool to play with. In fact, I did briefly experiment with Photoshop's sky replacement option because I already have Photoshop, but I didn't take anyone's offer of new AI equipped software to feature them because I just didn't see a consistent need for it. Like I said, it's super cool. It just doesn't fit into my way of shooting. And I, I really couldn't think of a type of viewer who would use that feature like sky replacement beyond the occasional photograph. However, when Imagine approached me about working together and I researched what it is that Imagine AI actually does, I was intrigued. I will explain more in a minute, but this app is all about efficiency, which is my own personal buzzword for editing. And I immediately knew exactly what kind of photographer this would benefit. And I wanted to see if Imagine AI worked as well as they claimed. So I chose to partner with Imagine on this video so that I could explore it because I thought if this thing works the way that they say it does, this is a big deal. It's revolutionary. And I can give you a spoiler here. The app does work like they say it's unreal. And I have thought of many uses for it. It has changed how I think about editing, especially large volumes of photos. Most of the examples I saw of photographers using imagine were wedding photographers. We'll get to all of that though. First, <laughs> what in the world is Imagine AI? It's photo editing software. It's an app on your computer that is truly intelligent. It uses AI to edit large volumes of photos in a short period of time. Specifically, it takes a profile, which is a look for the photos and it applies it to the images. That sounds like a preset so far, right? Because that's what I initially thought. But no, the app looks at each photo individually and intelligently gives them all that chosen look to create a series of photos that are all edited into a cohesive unit. Presets simply apply the same adjustments to every photo. Imagine analyzes each photo individually, determines what adjustments to make to achieve the chosen profile, that chosen look. For example, if you have a silhouetted figure, it will bring the shadows up. But if you have a photo where the background is blown out, it will lower the highlights. A preset would apply the same adjustments to both of those situations. Now that's a ridiculously simple way to explain this app, but I suppose that that's the point to make editing more simple. Now this video isn't a tutorial. Imagine actually has a really good YouTube channel with those kinds of videos, but I will give you an idea of the process in a few minutes. First, I want to start at the end <laughs> with the results. I mentioned profiles, the look that you are applying to your images. 
how do you get those? <laughs> there are two different types of profiles. You can create one or more on your own, and those are called personal profiles, or you can choose one from Imagine's set of profiles, which were created by various professional photographers. And these are called talent profiles. I'll explain the genius of the personal profiles in a minute, but I wanna show you how I got to know the app with the talent profiles first. I pulled a bunch of my old photos from the last several years where I was the model, and a couple of Raymond, and I ran through several of the talent profiles. When I was choosing the photos, I looked for different types of environments and conditions and photos that were captured on different cameras. That way we can really see how the imagined talent profiles can be used in all sorts of situations to achieve a similar effect. You do need to start in Lightroom Classic because Imagine uses your Lightroom catalog. And once you select the photos you want to edit, you're ready to get into Imagine AI. I chose a few of the talent profiles to try and processed each photo with them. The first thing I realized is that you can't process JPEG files. You need to be using your raw files. So these first few photos won't be edited, but I have since heard from Imagine that they will be releasing both color and monochrome JPEG talent AI profiles soon, which is fantastic because I know many of you prefer to shoot in JPEG. As you can see with all of these other photos, these talent profiles aren't extreme edits. They're usable. I realize that doesn't sound sensational, <laughs> but it's actually an important point. Usability and consistency are what I'm looking for. We will get to know how you can create whatever you want in Imagine, including edits that are more pronounced when we talk about personal profiles. But if you think about it, how often do you want to edit a large volume of photos like a wedding with huge color shifts or major increases in contrasters? saturation or, or other heavy-handed types of editing. I know I don't almost ever, so I appreciate how each of these talent profiles is unique and makes the photos stand out, but there's something that I would want to use over and over again in a multitude of situations. So I edited these same photos with a few of the talent profiles. When we look at one of the photos edited with the different profiles, we can get an idea of some of the different looks that are achievable. For example, this one with the red dress. Here's the raw image. And then with each edit, you can see how the red is depicted slightly differently and how the sky behind me is treated. Here's another good example. You can see in the raw image, I'm backlit. Every talent profile brings up the shadows, so I am less in shadow, but the overall effect is still unique in each one. Or we can take a look at how a single profile, in this case, cinematic luxury, can make all of these photos, some of which used some fill light and some didn't, look like a cohesive set. They look like they go together and the difference in lighting isn't noticeable. You remember how I said that these profiles are different from presets because they use AI to figure out which adjustments to make to create the look of the profile? You can actually see the adjustments here. Take a look at these two photos of me. One is quite underexposed, but every talent profile I used leveled out the exposure between these two images. Both images end up with me being properly exposed. This is the perfect example of how Imagine AI differs from a preset. A preset would have edited the two images the same, so I would have ended up with at least one of them being underexposed or one of them being overexposed. Anyway, you can make further adjustments here if you want. If you want to add skin smoothing or a bit of noise reduction to individual photos, you've got the freedom to now do that. You're not locked into the decisions that the AI made. You still have every adjustment available to you. All right, friends. Now that I've given you an idea of how this works with talent profiles, let me blow your mind with an explanation of the personal profiles. Because while the talent profiles are super cool and I actually think that someone could only use those, you can create your own. That's the personal profile. The app looks at photos that you've already edited in your style and it creates the personal profile for you. They do recommend that you have at least 5,000 edited photos in your Lightroom catalog for Imagine's AI to chew on in order to create your personal profile. When I heard that number, 
my eyes just about popped out of my head. <laughs> However, if you are a working photographer, that's not actually that many photos, considering that you may very conservatively edit 500 images for a single wedding, the numbers add up fast. And while I did not create one of these personal profiles myself, from my research watching a whole slew of YouTube videos where photographers used the app, it works amazingly well. And I should mention that you can update your profile whenever you want. You can take the output in Lightroom, make further editing adjustments, and then send them back over to the Imagine app where it will incorporate those changes into your profile. This means that it evolves with you and your style. It continues learning from you what your style is. And just like the talent profiles I showed you a minute ago, your personal profile will be smart. It will analyze each photo and make the adjustments needed to achieve your personal style. It ends up making the adjustments that you would have without taking up your time. Like I said, I watched quite a few videos about this app. One of my favorite things that I heard from someone, she's actually one of the photographers who created one of the talent profiles. She talked about the long process of editing and how your editing might change from the beginning of the wedding to the end, simply because you've been sitting there at your computer for so long. She pointed out that using the profile keeps the edits consistent and that really spoke to me. When I used to shoot weddings and events all the time, I had to go back and forth several times across the timeline of photos to even things out, so to speak, because quite frankly, I'd get lazier as time went on and I was ready to be done editing. So this eliminates that inconsistency. So after I did that initial pass and getting to know the software with my old photos, I grabbed Raymond and we went in search of some fall colors to try to capture a few photos of the two of us together because, well, I need a new banner image for the YouTube channel. As you can see, as I get rid of some of the photos I know we won't want, Raymond and I captured a few individual photos of each other along with some together, plus a few landscape images. We used a few different cameras and lenses. We used environmental lighting only, and we did move to a few different places within the general vicinity, so we had different backgrounds and coloring. Another upcoming feature Imagine told me is coming soon is culling. I'll be interested to see what that might be like. If it saves me even a fraction of the time that the app does in the rest of the editing process, it will be an exciting addition. Closing Lightroom and opening Imagine AI, it's time to set up my project and choose a talent profile for these. I've liked each one I've tried so far, but I wanna try warm skin tones for these because while we didn't end up capturing a ton of the fall foliage in our photos, we did get a little bit, and I want these images to have an overall warm feel to them. As you can see, the process is pretty intuitive. The app takes you through each step. And I'm only editing a handful of photos here, though even large volumes of photos get processed in minutes. Imagine says that the app can edit 1,500 photos in 10 minutes or less. They told me that the speed happens no matter the volume of photos sent for editing. When the processing is complete, we send them back to Lightroom Classic to see what we've got. Oh, I like this profile. I am not surprised to see the exposure being corrected and that all of my photos, even captured with different cameras and in different lighting situations, have been edited into a coordinated set. Let's look at some before and afters. Ah, perfect. This is such a great example. <laughs> Raymond accidentally had the camera set with some negative exposure compensation here. Okay, to be fair, I had set the negative exposure compensation and when I handed the camera over to him, I didn't tell him. <laughs> so anyway, the exposure in the photo was perfectly brought up. My skin looks great. The colors look fabulous and bright, but not too saturated. I love the green and the gold pops of color in the background and how you can see the aspen tree trunks. Let's look at a different photo, a close-up of Raymond in the Q2. He loves that camera. <laughs> but look at how natural this photo looks, aside from Raymond's pose. <laughs> it's just lovely and it was so easy to achieve. One other thing I've noticed with these profiles is that they don't perform any heroics with the highlights. So the skies don't end up looking unnatural and overprocessed. Obviously this video hasn't been a tutorial. I mentioned that Imagine has a good YouTube channel with playlists that are well organized and provide a ton of information. That's how I learned the software. 
What I wanted this video to convey is my experience with it and my excitement. My hope is that some of you will find it useful in your work. And I think this app is important. It's actually changed how I think about taking on weddings and events. Raymond and I both got so burned out on them because they're a ton of work and that can be pretty darned repetitive, but this cuts the editing portion of that work significantly. The next time someone asks me to be their wedding photographer, I might say yes. <laughs> and portraits too. I just captured some family portraits for our neighbors and those are already edited, but I do my sister's family photos every fall. I will absolutely be using Imagine AI for those. My sister has a couple of young boys that are a challenge to capture because they are high energy. I always end up with a ton of photos because I'm just snapping away every time they look at the camera. And I end up with some photos in the shade, some in the sun. I don't wanna belabor the point, but this has changed how I think about photography after how many years of being a photographer? A long time. I actually have a bunch of ideas for other ways to use this app. Imagine obviously focuses on wedding photography and their marketing, but I immediately thought of my last trip to Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks. I came back with thousands of photos. They were captured in different lighting and weather situations with two different cameras. And I wanted all of them to have the same general look and feel so that I could use them all together in my video. It took me so long to edit those photos and I needed to move on to other projects. And I think I still haven't gone through all those photos, but if I did pull them into a Lightroom catalog, maybe pull in some additional wildlife photography that I've done over the years, I could create a personal profile for my wildlife photography. I mean, holy cow. <laughs> Cow, wildlife photography. <laughs> How about time-lapse photography? I could have a landscape personal profile and an astrophotography personal profile. My time-lapse editing could be so much more efficient. It does tickle the type A side of my brain, I'm not gonna lie. Let's touch on pricing because this is priced in an interesting way. They do have a video explaining it in detail, but basically you pay by the edit. And when I first heard that, I said to myself, what? <laughs> but a lot of you are actually gonna like it. I like it because it means that you only pay for what you use and you're always using the most updated version of Imagine AI. Like I said though, they do have a video clearly detailing the pricing. So I do encourage you to check it out if you wanna know more. I'm curious what you all think. What would you use this for? Weddings and events? What about sports? That's another type of photography where you can end up with thousands of images in one afternoon. If you've used Imagine, I would love it if you would share your experience in the comments. I think this software is unlike anything we've seen in a good way. I suspect this is just the beginning for them. I think, I think we'll see more talent profiles and I'm sure the AI will continue to get smarter and smarter. I look forward to seeing where this goes. Thank you to Imagine for sponsoring this video and for giving me the opportunity to try this app out. Like I said, it's actually changed how I think about photo editing, which for someone who's been a photographer for as long as I have, that's pretty cool. But that's all friends. I will link to Imagine and their YouTube channel in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.